Okay, let us now discuss about the duty of the court that is found in Article 5 of the RPC. So, under this article, there is no common law crimes in the Philippines. So, nasabi na natin na ang common law crimes, makikita lang natin yan sa England at sa ka United States. So, kahit na ang isang paglabag ay hindi siya makikita sa specific written law. But kung ito ay lumabag sa kanilang usages, mga principles, mga common practice, meron pa rin tinatawag na crime. But in the Philippines, we do not adopt this type of concept because we follow nulong krimen, nula pina, sinili. So, in case na merong act na ginawa ang tao na masama pero walang particular law that can be used as the basis for punishing the person, the court will not impose punishment upon the person. But he will have to recommend to Congress for the enactment of a particular law. Because we said, our law follows the principle no law in crimin, no law pina sinili. There is no crime when there is no law punishing. Let us now go to Article 6, the stages of execution. So let us first discuss uh, two very important classification of crimes. The first one is the formal crimes or crimes of effect. So this is a single act that consummates the offense. Meaning, sa isang paggawa lang, na kompleto na, nagawa na ang lahat ng kailangang magawa sa isang krimen. A good example is physical injuries. Sa physical injuries, wala na tayong uh, frustrated at saka attempted. Kasi meron ng tinatawag na classification of physical injuries. We have slight uh, less serious at saka serious. Wala tayong tinatawag na attempted or frustrated slight physical injuries or attempted or frustrated less serious physical injuries and so on with the serious physical injuries. So the acts of lasciviousness, attempted flight to enemy country because the mere attempt of it is already considered as consummated. Coercion, slander, Illegal exaction. So again, pag sinabing formal crimes or crimes of effect, these are crimes that can be committed by a single act. So it will already consummate the offense. The second type is material crimes. So material crimes generally have stages of execution. Let us take note that under special laws, except if it is provided by omission and by formal crimes, there are no stages of execution. Balikan na natin, no? tatlong bagay na dapat natin na matandaan. So, we have sa special laws, sa felony by omission, or yung tinatawag natin na formal crimes nandito sa itaas, Walang tinatawag na stages of execution. Let us now define the stages of execution. We will start with a consummated felony. So, consummated felony is a stage of the commission of the crime where all the elements necessary for the execution and accomplishment are present. In here, the offender reaches objective phase and he has no more control of his acts so there are two phases of crime let us uh, take that up subjective phase is the portion of the acts constituting the crime starting from the point where the offender begins the commission of the crime to that point where he has still control over his acts including the natural force Ito daw ay nagsimula 
nung sinimulan ng offender ang paggawa ng krimen. Hanggang sa punto na meron pa siyang tinatawag na control over his acts. So, kung wala na siyang control over his acts, lagpas na yan sa subjective case. So, lagi natin talaan ha, ang pinaka-coverage sa tinatawag natin na subjective case mula nung pisahan ng offender ang pag-commit ng krimen hanggang sa punto na meron pa siyang control sa kanyang ginawa. Pag lagpas na yan, sa punto na yan, it is no longer under the coverage of subjective phase. The second phase of crime is objective phase. It is the result of the acts of execution that is the accomplishment of the crime. So, dito, wala nang control ang offender sa kanyang ginawa. So, lagpas na to siya sa tinatawag natin na subjective phase. Because sa uh, subjective phase, ang offender ay may control pa sa kanyang ginawa. Let's now define frustrated felony. So, here are the elements. The offender performs all acts of execution. All acts of execution would produce the felony and the felony was not produced. There is a reason because of causes independent of the will of the perpetrator. So, tanda natin dito na gawa ng offender ang lahat na dapat gawin. So, yung tinatawag na acts of execution. So, this acts of execution, if it is allowed in its natural course, magresulta to siya sa intended felony. Pero, hindi nangyari ang intended felony. Sabi dito, not produce. Hindi nangyari because may dahilan, may reason. So, ang kailangan, ang anumang dahilan na yan, it should be independent of the will of the perpetrator. What does it mean pag sinabing independent of the will of the perpetrator? So, ibig sabihin dito, walang kinalaman ang offender kung bakit hindi nangyari ang krimen. Let me cite a good example. 